What's up guys, my name is Elle and welcome to or back to the coffee shop project at home. Before we dive into everything, I would love if you would consider subscribing with the button down below and following me on Instagram at Elle Grayson for everything in between. And without further ado, let's get into the video. So if you remember, I've actually tried to make coffee soda before and I botched it, swore I'd never do it again, but then I started the coffee shop project, went to the barista parlor at Golden Sound in Nashville and tried it again and it wasn't that bad. Then I was ready to give it another try at the coffee house at Second and Bridge and it wasn't that bad. So I'm gonna try to replicate it again in my own kitchen. I'm gonna make it the way that they did at Second and Bridge, which is just Pelgrino and espresso shots. And then I'm gonna do it the way that they did it at the barista parlor, which is carbonating the cold brew and putting flavor in. But before we do that, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about the history. So I thought that coffee soda was kind of like an up and coming trend. It's not, it's actually been around since 1895. It was created in New York and originally called the Manhattan Special, which you can still buy. I went to like 10 stores to find it here and I couldn't. So I found a substitute, which is Slingshot's coffee soda. So we're gonna begin this video by trying it. Cheers. I'm not a fan of that. Um, it's not as bad as the one that I made, but it's just so much sugar and flavor and my palate just doesn't know what to do with it. I think it's my taste, not the brand, because it tastes like coffee soda. I mean, there's, there's nothing denying that. So hopefully I'm gonna be able to make one that I actually enjoy. Now that we've gotten the initial little tasting out of the way, we're gonna start making it on our own. And because we went to the barista parlor at Golden Sound first, we're gonna be replicating their way to the best of our abilities first. So I got my soda stream. I got some cold brew concentrate that I have one part cold brew, three parts water in that little jar. Then I have some orange essential oils. I decided that because I didn't like all of the sweetness in it, I would just do a little bit of the extract, see how I like it. And then we're gonna pour it all over ice. So we're gonna start by going in and just screwing the bottle into the soda stream getting it on there nice and tight because we don't want it to explode. It's kind of like a blender lid. And now we're gonna press the button three times. So one, two, three. And that is it. Now we're gonna pull it off. Ooh. Ah! You know, this isn't staged now. Um, can we still use it? We're gonna still use it. You know what, pause, I'm gonna clean this up real fast and then we're gonna come back. Now that we dealt with that little explosion, I've never used a soda stream before, so let me know if you have the same issue. I think if I would've waited a little bit after I turned it, it wouldn't have blown up. Let me know in the comments below how it goes for you. It's time to construct the drink. So now we're gonna pour the coffee soda into the glass. I have it just over the ice and now we're gonna garnish it with three drops of orange essential oil. One, two, three. Give it a little stir to get all the flavors in there. And now it's time to taste. That's my favorite so far. It's almost refreshing. It tastes watery, but also coffee. It's very hydrating. And then the orange in there gives it just enough of a kick. I'm not gonna lie though. I would rather it be almost a little sweeter, which is kind of weird because of how much I hated the sugar. I don't know how I would change that, but I definitely want to develop this recipe because I think it would be so much fun to be able to serve this to my friends next summer. It's pretty good though. It's time to make a coffee soda second and bridge style. And that starts by pouring Pelgrino over ice. Fizz. We're not gonna put it all the way to the top because we need room for the shots of espresso and we're gonna watch it right now. Now we gotta get the shots in pretty fast because we don't want them to go flat. You really shouldn't wait more than 30 seconds. And we have a nice little ombre as they blend. Unfortunately, we're just gonna stir it up so that all the flavors can be together. And now it's time to taste it. That's pretty good too. I like this one better a little bit. I don't know why immediately it gave me like lemonade vibes. I think it's the citrus, but this is very good. I don't think I'd have it every single day or even often, but if I was at like the beach, this would be something super fun to order. 
now that we've tried all of these, I definitely have some afterthoughts. So I started reading the sugar content on the Slingshot coffee soda and then on the Pellegrino, and I don't think it's the sugar that I disliked in the Slingshot soda. I think there's actually quite not enough. It had 10 grams of sugar, and while it's less ounces, it's still like half the amount of sugar that's in the Pellegrino. So it's definitely something missing there. I can't quite put a finger on it. I think I enjoyed the Pellegrino because it kind of was a sugar rush, and I don't think mine had quite enough. I think instead of an orange extract, I'd love to juice some fresh oranges and put it on top. That could be really yummy and a little bit less calories, a little bit more natural. If you try any of these at home, let me know in the comments below what your favorite was. And that is it for this little tutorial slash tasting episode. If you want to see more, subscribe down below and follow me on Instagram at Grayson if you want to get the ingredients list a week in advance so that we can do this together. I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.